Well, welcome into Studio B and welcome to your quick stretch break, which is about 10 minutes where we move the body, we reconnect with breath, and we do a little bit of centering in the middle of your day, whatever that may hold. And today's practice I'm calling Stand Up to Calm Down. So the practice, as the name implies, is primarily going to be standing. So if you're not already, go ahead and come to your feet. And you can come just in front of your chair or in any open space that you have around you. Take your feet about hip distance apart or maybe slightly wider. Hands can rest on the hips and just start to kind of rock from side to side. The knees can be really soft here. It may have been a while since you've been standing on your feet, depending on what work you've been doing today. So just kind of letting this movement reintroduce some circulation, some energy into the legs. And then the upper body might start to twist a little bit from side to side. We're not forcing anything here. We're just allowing a really natural movement to come into the body. And we'll do this about 10 more seconds or so. This is, think of this as sort of dance-like or playful. It should be fun. It should feel good in the body. And then let that get slower and smaller until you kind of come back to center. Find some stillness and we're gonna bring the awareness up to the shoulders. So as you inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears, tight, tight, tight. And then exhale, let them drop away. <sighs> you might even open the mouth on the exhale. Inhale, squeeze, lift the shoulders. And exhale, <sighs> one more time. Inhale, squeeze it up. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> Nicely done. Tech those arms, reach them out wide. Now we're gonna play with the brain a little bit here in addition to movement. So left palm is facing down towards the floor, but rotate your right palm up towards the ceiling. As you reach your right arm up, drop your left arm down. And then let the arms come wide and we'll switch right palm down, left palm up. As the left arm lifts, the right arm lowers. And you're gonna continue just moving like this, flipping the palms and lifting and lowering. This is a good way to focus our concentration, kind of get the, the brain refreshed and back on board for whatever the rest of your day holds. But we're also lubricating the shoulders and rejuvenating our posture here. So this is really multifaceted. Let's do a couple more Last one. And then once the arms are wide, take your fingertips, place them on your shoulders, and we're gonna do some spinal breathing. As you inhale, the elbows come wide, the heart lifts. And as you exhale, the elbows come towards each other. They may or may not touch and round. Inhale, open out and wide. And exhale, round. And you might notice my knees naturally get a little bit soft. I straighten my legs a little bit as I open and I soften my legs and bend them as I round. Couple more. Again, just rejuvenating the spine, especially if you've been seated a lot today. Again, this practice is stand up and calm down. And then coming back up to standing, we're gonna do one more standing position here. Bring your palms facing forward and hug your elbows in. This is a standing back bend. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see what this should look like. So imagine pushing into a wall in front of you, like pushing your elbows forward and lift the heart and let the head just drift back ever so slightly. My pelvis is nice and strong. My legs are pushing down into the floor, but I'm really opening the front of my chest which when we sit in front of a computer or huddled over a phone texting, that's the part of the body that gets really rounded. One more breath here. And then slowly lift up and out of that, release the arms and take a moment just to kind of notice how you're feeling here. We're gonna use the chair for a couple of poses. So if you are in an office setting and your chair happens to be on wheels, make sure the wheels are locked for safety and security. We don't want any um, chance of the chair rolling away from you. And then we're going to place the right foot kind of underneath the chair, left foot comes behind you, and then turn the hips open. Take your right hand, place it either on the back of the chair 
or on the seat, whatever feels more accessible. We're kind of opening up the sides of the body here. Left hand can be on the waist or it could reach up to the ceiling. So this is all about focusing, think about where the seam of your clothing is, the seam of your blouse, the seam of your pants, and that's where we want the breath to be introducing more space in this pose. Give yourself two more breaths here. Again, left arm could be reaching up or it could be resting on the side of the waist. And then slowly rotate your head down, lower your left hand and step back so that you're like in a tabletop position with your spine. And we're gonna bring the awareness back up to the neck as you just vertically lower the chin and lift the chin. And what's nice about doing this in this horizontal plane is that we're working against gravity. So this is simultaneously stretching and strengthening the neck muscles. And then we'll prepare to do that triangle pose, that side stretch on the second side. So I'm gonna step my left foot underneath the chair. My right foot's gonna come behind me at a slight angle. Straighten up both legs. My left hand is either on the back of the chair or on the seat. And my right hand starts at my waist. I really start to open up my body and I'm breathing into the seam of the body. And then you have the option to explore lengthening the right arm if that feels resourceful. And seeing, even though we're standing up here, if we can find a sense of calm in the body, maybe through the breath. And then looking down, lower the right hand. And we're just gonna step the right foot forward. You might need to use the hands to come up to standing and just take a moment to pause and notice the body and the breath. And then we're going to come back to seated to close our practice. So finding your way in your seat and snuggling back so you can let the spine be supported by the back of the chair, feet are grounded. Find a landing place for the hands. I'm wanting to receive some energy today so I'm gonna have my palms up. If you're needing a little bit more grounding, the palms could be down. And then either settling the eyes on something in front of you or just softly closing them. And as you tune into the breath here, just remembering that sometimes in order to calm down, we actually need to move a little bit. That when the body or the mind are static, that we can really feel like we get stuck in a rut energetically. And so just like we stood up in our practice today, sometimes we have to attempt something a little bit out of the box in order to access calm. Returning to our personal center of balance. Seeing if you can give yourself just two more breaths to Notice the breath coming in and the breath going out. And your only job here is to watch. You're not doing anything. And then we'll open the eyes as you're ready. There's no rush. And honoring this moment of transition as we know that this quick stretch break is coming to an end and the rest of your day is about to start. And so honoring that there's a little bit of a transitional phase here. Maybe you need to take a couple more breaths. Maybe you take a quick bathroom break before you really re-engage with your day. Thank you so much for taking 10 minutes to be with me today. It was a true joy and I'll see you again next time.